Nice weather again today. Lots of helicopters and planes in the air for some reason today too. And what's going on today? I guess in terms of planes and so forth, how about this in terms of a drone disruption apparently? This one here says, drone disruptions prompt emergency response at Tianjin Airport. Tianjin Binhai International Airport experienced flight disruptions on Wednesday evening due to public safety concerns arising from drone activity. The marketing department of TBIA disclosed in a Weibo post on Wednesday. That's kind of weird to think about the marketing department. It says here, in response, the airport swiftly implemented a comprehensive emergency plan to address flight delays, working closely with airlines to ensure the smooth transportation and accommodation of affected passengers. The airport reminds passengers to monitor flight updates and adjust their travel plans closely. The increasing prevalence of the use of drones have brought to light the disruptions they can cause to civil aviation operations, experts said. Drone interference poses a serious threat to regular takeoff and landing of flights, often resulting in delays, diversions, or cancellations. This impacts passengers and airlines and disrupts normal flight operations. The potential for collisions between drones and civil aviation remains alarmingly high. Is that actually the case, statistically anyways? Because Every time I've heard this in terms of when you factor in how many drones there are in the air every single day, it actually is one of the quote, I guess you could say, safest forms of aviation in terms of raw numbers anyways. Such incidents could jeopardize the safety of air travel, potentially leading to catastrophic accidents. The general public must recognize that the misuse of drones can pose a grave risk to aviation safety. I think overall, I mean, it's a bad idea to be flying around airports like right into them and all that at the same time i think in these cases it's more about places let's just say like the airport being unprepared for the situation because you can think of any other situations in life in terms of something happening for example let's just say there's a fire in the building or something like that there's usually somebody to take care of a situation if there's like a crazy guy there for example like again there if the building's on fire i don't think the firefighters would say okay guys let's go home because one guy crossed the yellow tape they'd have someone to take care of it, right? So it'd have to be kind of the same thing in my opinion anyways. And with more people wanting to use drones, actually with this little story here, it was posted by that WEF organization, which I think became infamous to the average person over the past, I guess, couple of years. Even for myself, I haven't heard of these people before, but here they said drones piloted by AI could prevent wildfires. So what are they, I guess, trying to promote or potentially push? It says, Drones piloted by artificial intelligence AI rather than humans could soon work together in teams to prevent wildfires, says researchers. Swarms of up to 30 autonomous planes would be able to spot and put out flames which can lead to wildfires by working collectively using AI if a study in the UK is a success. The team of firefighters, engineers and scientists working on the research which is still in the test phase and has not yet been used on a wildfire say their project is the first to combine unpiloted drone technology with swarm engineering for firefighting. Drones piloted by people are already used in firefighting to detect hidden blazes and assess safety risks among other tasks. The drones that researchers want to eventually use for firefighting are large twin-engine aircraft with a wingspan of 9.5 meters and huge water-carrying capacity. They are already designed to fly without any intervention from remote pilots. Now, the next stage of the project, Swarm Engineering, aims to make lots of robots work together in real-world applications. I wouldn't doubt that would be something useful. I'm still kind of surprised actually when it comes to, let's just say, forest fires or anything like that right now you don't have any type of drones here anyways by the looks of it that go around trying to douse them out with something like water or something like that it says professor sabine hewitt from the university of bristol one of the project partners told the bbc when you look at birds and ants and bees they can do beautiful complex behaviors by coordinating and so we take inspiration from that to coordinate large numbers of robots yeah again i wouldn't doubt if this will be a thing in the future and just generally, I saw this at first. I'm always interested to see the type of drone hardware that people are using. How about the ones in war? Apparently, this one here, it was a drone that crashed in Kafrikila village in Lebanon. And apparently, it was trying to start fires. So that's kind of interesting with that previous story anyways, wanting to put out, let's just say, wildfires. And then there's people that try to weaponize it by putting places on fire. Well, yeah, you can see the drone here. Apparently, it got caught like in a net or something like that. Is it that easy as well just to stop a drone? One little net, for example, when it's flying over like a certain area, you don't need any radio jamming or anything like that. But again, I just thought it was kind of fascinating to see the type of hardware that people are using.
Hey, see you guys later.